Hey everybody, Gamer Gramps here. Today we are playing a religious let's play, but we're doing things a little bit differently, where we're really taking our time, we're going slow and explaining things so that new players can learn and understand the tips and techniques that we are using to win a religious game very fast, and they can take that and apply it to their own games with whatever difficulty they may be playing at. Now us, as always, are on DD difficulty, so if that sounds like something you might be interested, then stick around. If you want to get good at Civ 6, subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with this channel. All right, here we go. We're going to get started. Now, obviously, if you just stumbled across us, it isn't our first kick at the cat here. We've been playing this series for a while, so if you want, you can just look up there and click the link to catch up on what you missed out on. Other than that, though, we are just heading towards the final religion that's in the game. We have completely... Oops. Misclicked. <laughs> We've completely spread our wonderful religion of Gizerology uh, down. We've wiped out Germany's religion. We've wiped out Russia's religion. And are just in the final processes here of knocking the few remaining cities of Australia's religion on their ass and our last target is the Norway excuse me Jesus our last target is excuse me anyway our last target is Norway here with their Protestant religion so we are going to lay siege to that as quickly as we can and then sw spread over the rest of the few cities here that are on the earth for our religious victory anywho that is the plan. We are well on the way to getting it done. We have our apostles here who have the debater technology, our, or technology promotion, I mean, are all headed on the way. We already have one there, which means they are very, very good at killing religious units, which is uh, gives you a huge head start when you are trying for a religious victory. So we're hoping that some of these juicy Nor Norwegian missionaries come out of hiding they are hiding in their cities at the moment from us and we're hoping they decide to come out and explore a little bit so that we can take advantage and go ahead and kill them in the meantime back here we are going to go ahead and spread to brussels all right so let's watch to see nice oh we got a nice Nice juicy Norwegian there. Uh, Alright, so we, we won the religious emergency they started on us. So we got 200 diplomatic favor, which is great. Uh, plus the target's religion releases a burst of pressure in, in all nearby cities, which is actually really good for us because that was in St. Petersburg. So it might have actually impacted some of these cities, and it did. Nice. That actually gives us a good little boost here. And hopefully, with any luck, Ottawa is no longer so far in the grips of Confucianism. Because it was like fourteen or 1,500 turns before we were able to convert them. So we've been waiting to do that for a while. Um, but in the meantime, we are still skipping by Ottawa with this Apostle's Last Charge. We're going to come up here and we're going to burn it on Brantford. Alright, so it didn't put much of a dent in. That's okay. Now, with our Apostle here that we just bought, let's take a look and see what promotion is available. And unfortunately, it, it didn't get... We're looking... Remember, we're looking for those... Specifically for the two promotions, the... Um, translator promotion and that prosthesizer one however you pronounce that and we didn't get it so we will just go ahead and send this one up towards the north here and now we'll take our promotion let's go ahead and choose order for being able to spread two additional times uh, and then in the meantime because we do have you know there's so many different cities here let's go ahead and actually 
next turn we'll buy one more apostle here in Fort Zella and then we'll move Moksha over to the eastern side of our empire so we can quickly finish this side of the world off and then just concentrate everything over here and finish off as quickly as we can. Alright, so speaking of which, let's continue getting these colossal heads to increase our faith. Alright, so they were so kind to move out of the comfort of their uh, out of the comfort of their city here, so let's give them a warm welcome and show them what geezerology is all about. Uh, yeah, I don't care. It's God's will. And so again, we this is our, our big baller here, basically. We're still waiting on our other debaters to come up and head this way. So we are using this one to the best of the ability that we can, and in order to do that, we are keeping an eye out for Norwegian apostles and missionaries by using this guru and this other apostle temporarily as kind of scouts just to, to look out for this guy. And so in that spirit, we are going to head over here quickly and we'll keep this apostle fairly close until we get more backup there. Speaking of backup, we are sending our troops up there as quickly as we can all right so these are both debater as you can see here they have plus 20 religious strength and theological combat so they are oh my fuck off <laughs> okay, we can't get through the mountains, and there's no way through the ice, so this was definitely a waste of time. I guess, good thing we found it out now, so we are definitely going to be circling around here. Now, uh, where is, we still have this guy has one more spread. Rather than waste his time coming up there, because he's a debater as well, we are going to just get him to head straight over this way. Um, uh, Brussels, in the meantime, this is just a regular guy we don't care about, so we will be using his, both his spreads. Uh, so let's just move on to the other side of Brussels here, so we're closer to where we're going to be going next turn, and then we'll spread religion. I guess that was um, a quest of theirs was religious conversion, so that's what that little beep was about. If you've learned a lot from my videos, consider supporting the channel by becoming a member. There's three different choices that you can choose from, all for different prices, but for as little as $5 a month, you can help to make this channel successful and ensure that we continue to put out videos that you enjoy. So let's go here and shop next. Alright, meanwhile, let's get as close towards Denmark as we can. Now, this is the guy who has the debater promotion. Okay, so they have left their holy site with their apostle. Let's see if we can get a bead on where they went, probably this way I'd imagine, since we don't see them to the east there. So, and nice, there's at least a Norwegian missionary there, which we only have one promotion here, but that's fine, we're going to scoop up and we'll attack. Meanwhile, this one can spread. We have Pilgrim and Indulgence Vendor, so nothing special. Uh, we are just going to start at the back end here. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Holy shit. <laughs> I, 
our, our religion, I guess, because we have the, uh, we are the suzerain of, <coughs> excuse me, we're the suzerain of Jerusalem, which has the ability that makes all of our cities with holy sites function as holy cities. So I guess the, the pressure from our religion was enough that it just spread up here naturally. Now, I'm not sure if there's more cities up here. I'm just thinking, because I'm looking at Rapa Nui and thinking of the mountain range. Um, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to purchase our last apostle over here. And then we're going to move Moksha to Sao Paulo again. All right, um, but meanwhile, that totally changes things. Since Mexico is going to convert in 57, we will pop over and give it one spread with this guy, right? Six, yeah. We'll pop over here. Oh, was that a religious unit? Shit. I think that might have been a missionary over there. Oh, well. Anyways, um... So, we are going to move forward with our debater over there continuing our little projects getting all these uh, excuse me getting all these colossal heads up to increase our faith output uh, we'll go there next Alright, meanwhile, we have one more spread here. We have converted Brussels. Let's go blow our last load all over Kingston here. Alright, so we've at least got rid of the religion. And as you can see, so that little burst of pressure from St. Petersburg actually did impact um, Ottawa for sure. It still looks like a lot with converts in 526 turns. However, that's down from like 1500, so that definitely did play an impact. So thank you for starting that religious emergency. We definitely appreciate it. In the meantime, though, we are definitely going to be headed over here as quickly as we can. Again, we're looking to catch uh, Norwegian units... Um, sorry, lost my chance out there. We're looking to catch Norwegian religious units out and attack them. I'm pretty sure that was a missionary. Yeah, there it is. Nice. So we should be able just to go ahead and quickly kill this next turn. Uh, let's might as well do it with somebody who has the debate debater promotion. So. Let's see, so converts in 65, just to show you, for newer players, the power of religious warfare. We're going to go ahead here and kill their missionary. And so, it takes away minus 250%, or minus 250 religious strength of their religion, and increases ours by 250. So, you can see, that city was 65 turns away from flipping to us, and by killing that one missionary there, it has now flipped to us completely. And that was without doing anything. Like, killing him did absolutely, like, took, took, didn't take any spreads, didn't take any anything. In fact, this guy only has one spread left and has had one spread left for, like, the last 50 turns or so. Like, something like that. It's one of our oldest apostles. But you keep them alive, and um, this way it just makes it so much easier for you to take over the world as far as religions go. Um... Now, fortunately for us, it looks like we should be able to take care of this douche here. So we will do so uh, with our spreads, though, since... Hold on one second here. Um, we still only have one promotion on this guy. However, 
because this seems to be their last city, uh, we're just going to set start sending them into into uh, the western provinces here. Because now this is their last city that actually is spreading Protestantism. So we just basically have to flood all these cities and take them over, and uh, it's going to be fairly easy to do that. So what we will do is we'll go here. We'll move to within one movement of its maximum allotment and then give it a promotion here and so hold on one second uh, okay so we already got the order and now we're going to take translator so it's going to be triple strength in cities of other civilizations meanwhile we finished our holy site prayers here so we're just going to queue up a bunch more holy site prayers And continue with our colossal heads there. Oh, I guess I should have. Fuck. I mis misplayed that. I guess this guy was already going there, so we should have built it there, but. Oh, well, we'll get that next turn. Meanwhile. Let's head up here. Or wait, where did that. Oh, we already killed him. Never mind. Forgot about that. Alright, so we are just going to keep moving to the west here and killing anything we find. There's. I was having these guys come up here, but since we've already converted all these cities, we don't really have, have anything there to be doing, so we're just going to continue heading to the west with them all. Alright, so we are, even though we captured this, we are going to spend one more charge there to give them a little bit more pressure. Uh, but that will be that, and now we are going to focus all of our efforts on coming to the west here. So we're going to move forward with the Guru to get it out of the way, which should allow this Apostle to just wipe the floor there. Now, it's definitely not going to be strong enough to get rid of the religion completely, like to convert it. But just look at that, now, killing that one unit, how strong that was. This is their holy city, I'm pretty sure anyway. Um. Oops, I'm getting them mixed up. Uh. Holy, yeah, Nidaros. So that's their holy city there, and it's no longer following their religion. So the rest are just going to tumble fairly easily. We want to get this over with as quickly as we possibly can. So again, here, let's take a look at our promotion quickly here. And it does have Prophesizer. So with this one, we are going to take this Apostle, and this is going to be the only one that we're heading east with. So we're going to move again to within one tile of our maximum move, and we're going to take our promotion. And this, this Apostle himself should be enough to finish off the straggling cities that are, are in the east here. Um, and, yeah, that should pretty well do it for the game once we just finish sweeping through here, which is not going to take very long whatsoever. So this actually might be my fastest religious victory yet. The fastest one I've ever gotten was turn 145. So fingers crossed that we can beat that one here. Uh, in the meantime, let's head on over there. Hopefully the skirmisher will be kind enough to get out of our way and we can build another colossal head there. What the hell? The German missionary? <laughs> Alright, well, that's completely random. Good thing we have uh, an apostle nearby. Let's go there and put the hurt on him. And then what I will do is we'll buy them a guru here. To heal up. And seeing as how now that I'm thinking about it, the religion is pretty much taken care of too. We are just going to start spending our faith over here and we're just going to buy a bunch of missionaries. Because we only have individual cities to to convert and we're not worried about religious combat anymore because 
we've essentially wiped out their religion. They like they can't make any more apostles from up here in the religion, and we're about to convert them to our religion, and then they won't be able to make any religious units whatsoever. So we'll essentially just be able to do a clean sweep here. So the more religious units we have, the, that means the more we can send out. The, the, the more we have, the quicker we can send them out, and the quicker we can convert all of these cities here. Uh, and I'm not worried about losing theological combat like this unit's about to do. In the meantime, we have our troops here. There's still one more turn. Uh, and then we'll switch into that other promotion. Or the other promotion. Sorry, that other policy card to upgrade our troops here. It's not like it's really the end of the world. Germany doesn't pose much of a threat, but it is what it is in the meantime. Uh, so we'll go ahead and chop this now. All right, so two spreads. This is a debater, correct? So we are going to keep mo moving along here. Hopefully, we can come across some of the religious units. So let's come in here and see what we can see. Again, this is the debater, so we're, we're looking for religious units. We're not too worried about spreading at the moment. However, this one here is the one that we're going to come spread with. So we're going to pop back up that way. And meanwhile, this guru can keep moving forward. We haven't found any religious units, but you never know. We might find some in here that they had sent out, but now they'll probably be coming back this way since we... Um, got rid of the religion in their in their holy city. All right, so same thing with this guy. We're gonna send him west as quickly as we can. And meanwhile, this guy. Oh, I guess we can get past there. I'm a knuckle skull. I thought we couldn't get past the ice, but I didn't even notice that I thought the mountain range went to the very limit so this is perfect we're just gonna pop in here and then come um, come knock off Rapa Nui and we'll actually send them here I don't think there is another city in there but you never know so we'll take a quick look just in case and then we'll send this one down in order to help out with that other apostle that we're sending over there the one that got distracted attacking the German missionary here So we're going to change those ones and we're going to go into 50% gold discount and where's the 50% resource one? God, I'm blind. Ah, here we go, retinues. Nice, and we'll probably actually put in logistics. Um, we're done with our builders too, so let's go ahead and let's put in logistics. Uh, and go ahead and confirm that. Now, in the meantime, I'm not really worried about them converting anybody. I'm more worried about this guy getting over to where he needs to go over here. So let's just say screw it. Um, in the meantime, we'll make a pit stop here and we'll rest on repair next turn. And yeah. Meanwhile, let's head on over and start getting our missionaries out and about. So here we're going to come and use our spread. So there you go. We've completely taken out their holy city there. Uh, meanwhile, this one has a debater promotion. So we're just going to continue 
going looking for religious units. That's our priority with these ones. And we're going to fall behind with this apostle and we'll spread it on Oslo next. <clears throat> Alright, in the meantime, we finished a builder here. About time. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start on Holy Site Prayers. And we'll put two people in there and put them on faith priority. Actually, okay, you go there and you go cancel. All right, so in the meantime, I guess we can get a farming triangle going. All right, spreads to, so this is one of our um, debaters as well, so we definitely aren't gonna use the last charge on him, however, We'll just get as far as we can at the moment. So, so far so good. Well, I guess I shouldn't say so far so good because we do want to find religious units. <laughs> um, but we haven't found any yet, so... That's good in one way and not so good in another. We'll go ahead and chop this here. Still one turn away from Moksha being settled here. Let's get rid of that. And I suppose go ahead and put another one there. In the meantime, we do have those promotions in now, so let's go ahead and upgrade our units here. Oh, in three turns we can upgrade this guy, so let's put him there and just skip turn, because I'll forget about him otherwise. Here, let's go ahead. There you go. So, now, at least, we have a little bit of an army there. We'll have a knight here as well in a couple turns. Or a few turns, I guess I should say, technically. Um, but anyway, so I don't think Germany is going to be coming anywhere near us. We have quite the buffer between us and Russia. So I'm not too worried about us getting attacked before we finish out the religious win here. Um, yeah, so we are just going to keep moving onward and forward. Alright, in the meantime, oh, this is the uh, Apostle. You know what? I think when they get promoted, they, they get healed anyway. So let's go ahead here and let's head here and take the promotion. And nice, we did. Oh, it's not quite the one we wanted, but whatever. We'll take it. Two extra charges, and I guess they don't get healed up. So that's fine. Anyways, it's not the end of the world since they're not going to be getting in any religious combat and it's close enough to completely heal that they'll still be um, putting it in strength. Alright, so we are going to get our missionaries just to head to the farthest parts of the world here. A 
the same thing here. Again, we're just looking for their religious units. I guess we'll start converting in Kamai with that one. Or actually, never mind. We still have more back here. So we'll get this one to start in Kamai and that other one will move forward. So you can just start spreading. I feel like I'm spreading a venereal disease. <laughs> you can just start spreading. Uh, anyways, no luck so far finding religious units, but there might be some deeper in, so it doesn't hurt us to keep looking. And this guy has one spread before we he's at his limit there, so we'll go ahead and uh, use that. That should put Rome over the edge. As you can see, this isn't taking long here. We are going to roll over the rest of these cities fairly quickly. In fact, I'm more concerned about the <laughs> about this side of uh, the map taking a little bit longer now. Because I think we left a little bit too early. We probably should have sent another apostle there earlier. Uh, oh, well. Hindsight's 2020, right? Alright, so we're gonna start using some of this guy's spreads. And because he's powerful, we're gonna pick the most powerful ones. Like you can see here, converting in 282, actually, that's worth a spread. So we'll go there next. We'll spread to Kamasi since it's 282. We'll spread to Sedia here because it's 596. And we'll keep going to these ones that are powerfully entrenched in the religion and leave the lesser ones for our missionaries that we bought and our other apostles. Uh, speaking of which, where are the missionaries? Okay, so this one's spreading there. Ah, oh, next turn. Okay. Sure, we'll t take your money in Open Borders Canada. Alright, so this is the one that we are sending forward here. We'll hit Cabal with them. Meanwhile, here we'll move to the front side of Kumai, just so we're closer to where we will be going in the long run. And we'll keep spreading to them. And now with these guys, we are just going to keep hunting down random enemy units. So... Since we haven't been finding any random enemy units, we're just going to keep going to the very far reaches of the Empire. And then, if we don't see any Norwegian units in here, religious ones I mean, then we'll start spreading the faith over there. So we'll kind of be working uh, with the wave moving forward, and then start at the back and just kind of meet in the middle here. Alright, so... We need to hit up these cities as quickly as we possibly can. Where is that apostle coming? Ugh. Alright, that guy's there. This one's at least here. Let's head to right there and we'll spread. Music's kind of getting me into it now. I'm like, fuck, let's get this going. I want, I really want to beat one. F oh no, there, there's no way we're gonna beat my previous fastest. I don't think it can be done in six turns. But at least we won't be too far off. When we did start talking about this game originally, I said in around 150 turns. So we definitely should be in that ballpark for sure. All 
right? So I don't even think that there are any more Norwegian religious, religious units, so I'm just going to tell all of our gurus to just go to sleep so I don't have to start... I can stop moving them, and that way it'll be a little bit faster. Uh, let's go ahead and buy that tile. And we should be able to make a colossal head there. Five faith, that's nice. And we'll go here next. Meanwhile, let's just put all these guys on alert. All right, we're in the home stretch. <laughs> okay, so, like I said, I am very, well, not very, but I'm pretty positive that they don't have any religious units, but. You never know. Meanwhile, I'm just going to put the gurus to sleep. Because even if they do have them, our units are so healthy that I'm not really worried about it. So here we'll go ahead and spread. Alright, and so we're getting really close to a religious win, so people are going to be denouncing us and getting pissy with us. Uh... Not too, too worried about them declaring on us since we are so far away, but you never know. So, fingers crossed they don't. <laughs> I honestly should have been paying more attention. We probably could have renewed that friendship if I, I would have caught it sooner. Uh, so, yeah. This is just a guru, so we'll tell them to freaking just chill out. Yeah, so, so far, nothing. Uh, Kabul, we haven't converted yet, so let's go ahead and spread. Um, did we get Kumai? No. Alright, so we at least got that one. We'll get them to go to Ostia next. Meanwhile, let's just explore with these guys to make sure that we didn't miss any cities towards the south here. We'll go there next. We'll upgrade it to a knight next turn just for shits and giggles, basically. Uh... Oh, actually, we can chop that city there. Alright, so not that they're going to cut probably going to come in handy now, but let's go ahead and buy another Apostle there. We're just shy of an Apostle, so might as well go ahead and buy a Missionary now, since we'll be able to buy an Apostle again next turn anyway. Alright, meanwhile, oops, we haven't quite converted them, we need to spend one more charge. Let's move on and get the bigger population. It appears not to be the scar of a meteor. Alright, so there is a city way up there that we've oh, we've already got it. Nice, it's spread into it since it's so small on its own. Meanwhile, like I said, I don't think we're going to run into any enemy troops, but we might as well use them as scouts. No, no, go away. Alright, so we got stirrups. Let's upgrade this guy here for shits and giggles, like we said. 
now we've finally gotten enough envoys that we can go ahead and get them up to six, which increases our faith a little bit more. Meanwhile, ugh, there's quite a few cities down that way. It looks like Like we said, I'm using this one for the biggest um, things possible. So now, let's go ahead and buy... You know what? That's two apostles. Plus the one coming up from the north. That's more than enough there. Let's just go ahead and buy one here anyway. She didn't have her own religion. Yeah, that's a holy site. I saw I thought I saw another one up there too. Huh. Oh well, anyway. So we still need more help there now. Again, we're going to use this guy like a scout down here. You can go to Ostia. I think that should be enough. We can get this guy to move to the next strongest one over there. Alright, so this is your last build. How many builds do you have? And you have one too. All right, so actually we'll do the, we'll do this chop because it should get more uh, faith. So we'll chop there and get you to head over there to build the apostle or apostle head, the colossal head over there. Uh, meanwhile, we'll get you to head to Brantford. can move there and take a promotion. Uh, we'll take Pilgrim even though it doesn't really matter. And then meanwhile here we converted them. So, okay, all these already belong to us so we need to come in there. All right. Alright, so at least there isn't that many cities down here. I don't know how I sent our missionary down there. I didn't mean to send them that far, but okay. Since he is down here, though, we might as well keep on moving. And here, go ahead and chop. All right, so at least we are getting closer here. Let's take a quick look. All right, so we are going to target Ottawa specifically with you. So you head on over there, sir. All right, we don't really care in this situation, so let's just pick a random one. Oh, wait. I wonder if holy site prayers count as holy site. No, because they're city projects. Eh, let's put it on city center. Who cares? Anyways, um, and who cares 
Let's just pick a random one. Who cares? Anyways, submit. Yes, yes. You guys, you guys do you however you think you're going to win the game. Okay, so. Let's keep moving with... This is possible. We want to get to the end of the continent here. I think that is the last city since it looks like it's so small. So we'll just start here and start spreading to Nan Madal. All right. In the meantime, uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna find any. The rising world of water. Oh, nice. All right. So finish off what I was about to say there, I don't think we're going to find any more cities or any more religious units, so now this guy's basically done his service, he can just live like a king in the nice natural wonder there, and say, oh, not this guy though, he has some work to do since he has spreads, so we'll get him to go and head back that way. Alright, meanwhile, we've gotten Cabal taken care of, and I think this missionary should get within the next two charges should be able to take care of that so let's go to atrium and go ahead and spread there uh, meanwhile dot 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 our apostle here can move and take a promotion doesn't matter which one Let's just go ahead and buy more missionaries. Put him on alert. There we go. Just keep building our colossal heads. All right. Meanwhile, uh, let's get as far as we can over here, except for one tile, and take our next promotion. And nice. We got translator there. That'll definitely make it more powerful. But we should definitely be able to knock off the last little bits of religion here starting right now actually we should be able to spread all right in the meantime we have three spreads here let's go ahead and give another one to Fez that gets them now with this one we'll come up here to Pato or whatever. Actually, we should go with Kamasi. Come to think of it, never mind. We'll send this one to Kamasi and this one to Pato, whatever the hell that is. Yeah. All right. Anywho, so this guy can just go live like a king down here on <laughs> the, on the uh, the natural wonder. He he's done his his part for our society. Gentle eruption there, not too bad. I don't think we have any builders left to go repair it anyway, so who cares. Uh, in the meantime, with this one, we want to get in as close as we can to over there. So, oops. Let's move the guru out of the way and put him back to sleep. And then we'll move there and take our promotion. What? What? Oh, we don't get a second... That's right. Sorry. We don't get a second promotion because Moksha is on the other side of, of our nation. Oh, well. So be it. Um, Alright, so in the meantime, let's get this apostle and let's head down here. We're just closing it out, boys. Just closing it out. We got this. Alright, we'll go here and start spreading. And actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's not be sentimental and let them live like kings. Let's get them to actually put in some work. We don't need you anymore. 
For Let's Be Heartless Pragmatists, you can help us out by spreading the faith that you fought so hard to spread across this world. So there you go. All three of you gave the utmost and <laughs> they converted one city over to us that we don't have to worry about now. Uh, so in the meantime, let's get this guy to come up here to Nan Modal and let's get the uh, missionary to spread here to Nuri, which should do the trick. And then the apostle can... Oh, I guess that was the last of his movements. But anyways, then he can go ahead and spread. Uh, Alright, so Antium is next. Let's go ahead. Oh, we are there. I don't know. That, it looked weird to me. I thought we were over here, but let's go ahead and spread. Nice. And we still had somebody going to Ostia, right? Oh, I guess not. Alright, so where is this douche that was just in here? We'll send him to... From Antium to Ostia. Oh my god. Stupid Romans. They settled another city. Never mind. Go down here. Oh my god. Alright. In the meantime, you can definitely go to Ostia next. We have one build left. We'll go ahead and build our last colossal head over there. Alright, so let's take a look here. The nearest city is Kingston, so let's go hit Kingston. Alright. We're closing in. <laughs> All right, 143. I don't think... Well, I know we're not going to get 145. Whether we get 150 or not, though, I'd, I'd like to try and get this between one, before 150. However, I don't know. We're cutting it kind of close. Okay, those idiots freaking... Ugh. Settling cities that turn 144. Like, there's a reason you don't win the game, lady. Alright, anyway. Um, let's get him to move there next. Here, we'll move one step closer to these other cities and spread again. Alright, meanwhile... Uh, we have one spread with this guy left. Let's hit a big city. Let's go over here and spread. Alright. Meanwhile... You come back up to Ostia and spread. Oh, I forgot we were going to send you down there. Shit. Okay, actually, you come down to their stupid ass little city down there. Alright. We got this. And then this guy can go to Patoli. Spread. Or Patoli. I meant Kamasi and then to Patoli next. But spread. Okay, so we got those two taken care of. He'll actually probably take care of this as well. And I think it's more important to get these ones. So yeah, let's get this guy to head down as quickly as we possibly can. Alright, we're trying for 150. I think I think we can get 150. Six turns is, is doable. Alright, put that douche on alert. We'll build our last colossal head over here. Not like we need it, but for shits and giggles and for score, let's go ahead and buy some more apostles. <laughs> Alright, so let's 
bread there. And there we go. We have a basic need to believe in something nice. greater than ourselves. <laughs> we crave solace in the darkness and light into our path. Thanks to you, we found meaning amid the cosmos. All right, well that is cool, actually. I didn't think we were gonna win there just yet because I thought we still had to get more of, um, I thought we had to get more of a minatory, I can't, Nubia, that's it. You can't see it, but my dog's being a dick here. It keeps moving my hand away from the keyboard. Um, but yeah, I guess because we are their predominant religion, even though these ones aren't converted, that it's still counted. So that is actually beautiful. There you go. I beat my fastest win religious win ever by one turn. <laughs> hey, it, it counts so technically, right? There you go. Right on. So that is awesome. We went ahead and did it in fairly decent time. We at least got under 150 turns like we were planning on. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope you learned something from it. And again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comment section. I'm more than happy to help out if I can. All right, but enough rambling from me. I'm sure you're itching to get out of here, so I just want to thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please do me a favor and leave a like, or better yet, comment and leave a like down below. I'd definitely appreciate it because it helps me get discovered. And as a small channel like I am, I need all the help I can get, clearly. But enough is enough. I'm just going to shut up now, and I'll see you in the next video.